हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज सुचित खंडागड़े एंड इन टूडेज वीडियोज वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ लुक ऑन सम एडवांस सब क्वेरीज बिफोर वी मूव ऑन फॉर जॉइंट्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विल सी द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन अमंगस्ट मैनेजर्स हु गेट्स द हाइएस्ट सैलरी सो इन दिस केस आवर आंसर शुड बी एम्प्लॉय नंबर ई ई सॉरी एम्प्लॉय नंबर फाइव हु गेट्स ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड सो द क्वेरी फॉर दैट विल बी सिलेक्ट let's say we will get employee number and employee name from emp where now it is amongst manager so designation is equals to manager and we need to get the highest salary so highest salary as far as the table goes the highest salary is 40000 but we want the highest salary of manager so our inner query will also include a where clause with condition of designation is equals to manager so where designation is equals to manager and sal salary is equals to select max of salary from emp where designation is equals to manager so inner query will first give us the maximum salary of manager that is the 20000 and the outer query will have uh, will check which manager gets the salary of 20000 so if you do not specify a designation over here then we may get the answers of other designation who might be getting the salary of 20000 okay so simple enough yes we get the answer so now we will try to solve the same question in a different manner what we can actually do is we can have a sub query that will return a multiple columns so in this case we had a condition on designation as well as on a maximum salary and since for getting the maximum salary we are already including the designation condition in a inner query so let's try this select employee number comma employee name from emp where we'll have designation comma salary in so in previous query what do we had is we had a condition on a uh, designation and salary so we have used a and clause sorry and operator now what we are doing is we are combining both conditions in one query itself in one sub query so where designation comma salary in select designation designation comma max of salary from emp where designation is equals to manager so what this inner query is going to do now we are going to get the designation and maximum salary for manager and since this query is going to return me a designation as manager and maximum salary as 20000 outer query will perform a, a, a condition where designation and salary matches so it is possible that we can specify multiple columns in a sub query uh i'll request you to pause a minute for a minute pause a video for a minute and just predict the output of this query so what we get is an error what we actually did wrong over here is in inner query with aggregate function we have specified a normal column so when we do specify a normal column along with the aggregate function then what we have to do is we need to group by it so we will have to group by designation and now we should get the same answer as of the previous query okay so we'll get the same answer we'll go for the next question 
get the details of clerk earning 5000 so this is a simple enough question uh, not even in a sub query we'll see how this goes so at the simplest case the query would have been select we have to get the details so employee number comma employee name from EMP where designation is equals to clerk and salary equal to 5000 simple enough yes we get this same answer the required answer okay so now what we'll try to do in this query is now we'll try to use this in operator with multiple columns so instead of designation is equals to clerk and salary is equals to 5000 what if we specify where designation comma cell in clerk comma 5000 okay we get the error so what essentially I, I was trying to say is when we are using in call in clause sorry in operator with multiple columns the right hand side of the in operator has to be a subquery so this would work fine if we replace these values with a select statement select designation comma cell from EMP where designation is equals to clerk and salary is equals to 5000 essentially the inner query itself is our result but I just want to show you that what the inner query returns those two values of the column will get matched with this designation and salary and will again get the same answer so we'll get the answer as fourth one that is employee number four clerk and salary is equals to so I guess something something is missing error starting oh so select designation and and salary equal to 5000 yes so what was missing I did not selected everything so let's move on for the next question which designation has exactly two employees so first we'll do with some basic query of that sort so select we want a designation and the count of employees so which designation is having count of two so designation manager has count of two so as we have already done some query that is select designation comma count of star from EMP where not where so we'll have group by designation if you write this simple query then we get all the designations along with the count so now what we want we want to have a condition on two employees that is on count so we have done actually this type of query so we'll have having count star is equals to 2 yes we get the answer so we'll see the next question which designation has most number of employees so this question is similar to the previous one which says uh, we wanted to get a designation having two employees exactly now what we want that two is replaced by the most number of employees so over here the same query will be there but in a having clause will have to include a subquery the subquery that should return me the maximum number of employees 
so it is double aggregate function we need to get the count first and then the maximum on count so the query will be over here select max of count of star from EMP mm, what do we have is maximum number of employees so we need to group by designation and that's it so th as this query would have written if we have just selected only a count star then okay up to this only this query have would have written all the counts so now what we have done we have written the same query over here just as, uh, select max count star from employee group by designation now what we have done we have additionally added a maximum so what does this query will do now from this record that is 1 1 1 and 2 the maximum will be selected that is the maximum is 2 and now this query will act as an inner query for this having clause so outer query will run as having count star is equals to 2 so as good as the upper query that is the previous one yes so we get the manager is having the maximum number of employees last two questions so this type of question we have already done who what is the second highest salary we have already written a query for getting the highest salary for that the query would have been select max of sal from emp what this will return me is 40,000 now what we want is the second highest salary a second highest salary can be calculated when we eliminate this record and up then whichever records are remaining from that what will be the highest that is the 20,000 so we'll again have to select a maximum of cell from EMP where salary is less than this one so what this query is going to do now is the inner query is first going to give me the maximum of salary and outer query we have a where condition where salary is less than 40,000 so with when it is less than 40,000 the remaining uh, records will get processed and from that the maximum salary will be displayed that will be the second highest salary okay and the last question who gets the second highest salary again this entire result will be now a subquery so what we'll have is select the details of employee that is e number comma e name from EMP where salary is equals to now this inner query is going to return me only one record so now we have multiple levels of subquery over here so subquery can be nested as much as required so the the innermost query gives us the maximum salary then the second level query gives us the second maximum second highest salary and from that second highest salary we get the person who gets the second highest salary okay so 20,000 is for employee number 5 so we'll stop in this tutorial thanks for watching and happy learning